are all the little crab tracks. Little hermit crabs. An early morning pelican flight. Ooh. Good morning and welcome to Fishing with CJ. And we are back on the beach. Uh, early morning start again. Possibly a little earlier than the other times because it was dark for most of the track. Um, looks fishable. Looks fishable, the swell doesn't look too bad. Let's look out for some fish activity now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sight cast, I think, rather than just casting blind, which seems to be a bit of a waste of time. I'm going to look for the fish activity and then cast at them. Which might be there, actually. If that's fish or if that's a rip. But yeah, so we are on the beach again. Look at this, what a beautiful morning. The sun hasn't quite cracked over the top of the trees yet. Um, both of us forgot to bring a watch or clock with us in any shape or form, so we're going to have to guess the time to get back for breakfast based upon sunrise, I guess. Um, do you want to go, should we go in onto that tree there so we can sit on it? Yeah? So for those, those tackle junkies out there, this is a Savage Gear four-piece travel rod. It's rated at 20 to 80 grams, so it's, it's got a good casting range. Um, and as I say, it's, it's four-piece, so it fits in your luggage. And it definitely, it definitely got a bit of backbone to it. It's an excellent print, XLNT print. And the reel is a pen, but it's a small one but it certainly does what I need it to do. And on the end of that, there is um, an excellent loop, which has got a, a quick clip lure attachment, so I can change the lures quickly. See that? If there's any Spanish mackerel out there, they will bite through this straight away. But it's man enough for anything else. So what lure am I going to use today? I might start off with a Savage Gear Seeker. So I can get a bit of range. And then if I start catching fish on it, over to um, some surface lures. A lot of surface lure activity. I might put a surface lure on so we get some surface surface top water, some top water action. I do love a bit of top water, as they say. Now these little wallets are from the range, and apart from the fact that they're not very comfortable. Great for, they don't take that much 
space in your, in your, in your luggage. So for travel, they're great. But I've got it caught in the tent. So we'll have a little go with something like that, I think. I'm led to believe is the uh, is the lure of choice. So we give ourselves a little bit top more of the uh, choice in here. Get a big splash. Just hold him now. Come on, bring him away. I'd lost it then. Well, there it is. Ah! <laughs> well, I saw it. Ah! That's fishing. The fish are out there on the surface now. You might see them on the camera. Just on the limit of my casting range. So, so kind of running back on the back swell and uh, casting, trying to get out that little bit of distance. Right, that's pretty close to them, but they're there, just to the right of where my lure landed. Woo! Go watch these waves because a big one will pull, will suck your feet on from under you. I mean, this could just be bait fish that are feeding and not being preyed upon, but where there's bait fish, there's prey, there's uh, predators, so. Right in front of me now, right in front of me. Right in front of me. Look at that. You see him in the waves? I'm getting, oh, getting hits. All right, come on. Several hits then. Several hits. And no tape. Come on, baby, come on, fishy fishies. Yeah, had several takes that cast. Get this in, get back back out where those fish are. 
right out in front of me again. I can't catch a pelican. <laughs> Whoa, fish on, fish on, fish on. Woo! That's a solid take, that was. <laughs> He's putting up a fight. So get it in through the surface time. And tie him out a bit more. It was a Spanish mackerel, we will have ceviche again. <laughs> Do we come down here? Heart stopping action. Heart stopping. I've been lost one. I don't want to lose this one. A nice wave to surf it in on. Let's get it bring on it away. Another wave come in. Not bad for a little travel rod, is it? Oh, come on. I'm just slapping my drag off, let him take a bit of line. Come on, he's in the back of the surf now, he's in the back of the surf. He's there, he's there, he's there. Oh, bit of backwater, come on, another way to bring it in. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yoo -hoo. It's another jack. Three. Smaller than the last one, I think. But still. <laughs> Camera person nearly got wet feet. <sighs> oh, listen to him crunching. Well, he's well hooked, anyway. Beauty. Beautiful. Let's give him a kiss. Put him back. Oh, my heart is pounding. And away! There he goes. Swimming away. Right, just going to sit and have a little breather. We're going to have to go to breakfast fairly shortly, I think. But we'll give it a couple of minutes, see if the fish turn back up again. And one last cast. I'd love to get one. Actually, I'm not sure if it's not fish in front of me here now, actually. I'd love to get one on the surface. Yeah, yeah, they're right in front of me again. So. Fish right in front of me, but way right on the limit of my cast that where those uh, pelicans have just gone in fact yeah no. one one more
I'm gonna have to go for breakfast. I'm gonna have one more, one more. Wave come in, see if we can get behind it. Oh, the wave behind that as well. A lot of fish activity further out, long way out. Right, here we go, we've got a bit of flat water behind this. Big bus stops out of sea. Big bus stops out there. So we've got a trogan here, it's a bit bit dark for video but you should be able to hear it's cool. Of course it's not calling now I'm filming. Come on. <laughs> Just like fishing, you put the camera on it stops. There's it's cool. Female Curacao and that's a trogan in the background calling. Where's your daddy? Rina, mind your elbow. <laughs> 